Hi, this is Michelle Medrano. Welcome to another episode of Contemplate This, where we contemplate your spiritual questions. I am in high preparation mode for a workshop that I'm giving here at Mile High Church in July of 2018, next month. And it's all about relationships, a workshop on relationships. It's for people who are in relationship or who would like to be. And so I'm really, really, I'm personally contemplating relationships and have found myself uh, thinking about the blessings and the amazing aspects of relationships and the curses, the things that are most challenging and how they kind of all dance together. So today's episode, I want to invite us to focus on the blessing and the curses of relationships from the standpoint of how we get our buttons pushed in relationship. This weekend, I heard somebody say, well, I may have pushed that button, but I didn't install it. And so I think that is so profoundly true for us. I'm sure if you're anything like me, you've probably had your buttons pushed in a relationship, any kind of relationship, a romantic relationship, a family relationship, a friend relationship, a co-worker relationship, or you maybe just had your buttons pushed by someone you're not even having a relationship with, someone you hear on the news or somebody in the world. We all get our buttons pushed. And so I want to talk about how do we do that? Because the, the blessing is that when we're really in a, a relationship where we're talking with people and we're, we're living with them and we're sharing our daily lives and our daily work with them, the blessings of connection and the blessings of heart opening and the blessings of being seen and feeling loved and feeling that, that that sense of connection, community, it's just, it's just beautiful. It's wonderful. It's, it's like the greatest gift. But what comes with it is that people can push our buttons. What comes with it is that things happen or people say something and suddenly we're having a reaction. So what is that about and how can we deal with that? So far, what I have discovered is that yes, uh, people push my buttons. Yes, they didn't install them. And that's where my center has to be. That the buttons that get pushed in my relationships, they're mine. It doesn't mean that I don't talk with other people about those buttons or, or uh, have boundaries around those buttons. I talked about boundaries and judgments in a previous segment, which you can watch. So I can have boundaries, but ultimately the work to take the charge energy out of my buttons or even uninstall those buttons, that's on me. That's on me. And especially when I have places where I have a pattern, like one of my patterns where my buttons get pushed in every relationship that I've ever been in is if I feel like you're not listening to me. If you're not hearing what I'm really saying, I get very irritated, I get very frustrated, and that's where I tend to like shut down. I find my energy just dropping and suddenly I'm, hmm, I'm not gonna talk anymore. I get like a little four-year-old. And that's exactly what it is because what happens is that we have these originating patterns and experience that might have come from childhood or from our young adult time or from a previous relationship where, where we felt really unheard or unseen or unacknowledged in some way. And what begins to happen is it's like a wound forms there. And then every time someone pushes that button or appears to, we respond from that originating place or from that pattern that's been in place. And, and a part of us starts to almost panic like, well, this person is just going to be like my, my sister who never listened to me or like my father who always did such and such to me. And it's kind of a literally a place in our brain where the synapse fires off around that original experience that keeps getting entrenched by repeated experiences that, that feel kind of like that. And so we react as though that person was that original person, or we react like it's the original situation, or we react like, see, nobody really hears me all, over and over when all the while the other person had no ill intent, had no intent not to hear us, wasn't sitting there thinking, well, let me not hear Michelle right now and see what happens. We think that people think that way, 
but all they're really doing is being them and doing their thing and maybe they had an, a moment of unskilled behavior around us but our button goes Bleh! so the secret and this is a blessing and a curse is that our relationships show us our buttons our relationships show us where we have some work to do our relationships show us where we could do a little healing and the good news is that we have the power to uninstall and heal those buttons. What it takes is really looking. Often for me, what it's taken is a willingness to go now, how did I get this way? How is it that this bothers me so much? And to look back at, at previous experiences and, and to do some forgiveness work of when I felt this way before, or to actually tell the person who's pushing that button, wow, I'm really having a button pushed right now. Would you be willing to talk with me about it so we can get to the bottom of it? And in that dialogue and conversation, then healing can occur. And I can have a moment in a relationship where I don't just shut down, but where I lean into it and have a, a spiritually and emotionally mature conversation about here's what's happening for me. Can we talk? And I take full responsibility and own my own button while all the while dialoguing with this other person about the dynamic of what happened. These are all the things that we can do to begin to deal with those buttons. But what we really need to understand is that our buttons are ours. And there are people who can help us. There are therapists, there are uh, our practitioner prayer partners, there are good friends, and there are often the people we're in relationship with who can help us. So if you're getting your buttons pushed in a relationship, I urge you to find some support. Because if we could all work on our own personal buttons, I think that could lead to greater peace in our life and certainly greater peace in the world. I'd love to hear from you. So make some comments, share your buttons, ask more questions. We'd love to hear. Thanks so much for tuning in. Bye now.